So today we're going to talk about how to hit a pitch shot off a very tight lie. And for this example, I'm going to the extreme and we're actually going to hit a pitch shot off the green. I wouldn't recommend you practice this at your home golf course if you don't want to get yelled at by the superintendent. But it's going to show you that even under the most extreme circumstances, this is going to work and it's going to work very effectively. club's only on the target line for a very short period of time and it's making it extremely difficult to get consistent results. You'd have to have practice a lot and your timing would have to be almost perfect. What we're going to do, it doesn't guarantee a great shot, but it significantly increases your odds of hitting one. And so the, what we're going to do is elongate the flat spot around impact and have the club never dig so that these tight line shots become one of the ways we're going to do that is by moving the ball position forward. So if I stand here, what you're going to see is that most people on tight lies play the ball back in their stance. And the problem with this is that low point is going to be when the club is the longest. And that's going to happen when this left arm and shaft are in a straight line. Anything on either side of this is actually creating a slightly shorter radius. So what's going to happen is, if we put the ball too far back in our stance, that ball is too far below, or too far behind where low point's going to be. So if I make a normal swing, I'd actually miss the golf ball entirely. Playing the ball back actually forces you to dump the leading edge into the ground, which is going to make you stick it in the ground or blade it across the green, neither of which are fun and it's the two most common misses that you see on tight lies. What we're going to do is move the ball up right under the left armpit swing my arms back, you're going to see this club head gets very high off the ground, very V-shaped, it makes things a lot more difficult. What we want to see is raise the club almost to where that shaft is in line with your left arm. So as I swing my arm, you're going to notice how low to the ground this club head stays. It creates a very shallow angle of attack where the club just brushes the ground. What it also does is as the club's brushing the ground post impact, the club head stays low to the ground, meaning the club will not bounce up into the golf ball. So we're going to keep the club head as low to the ground as possible, both on the backswing and on the follow through. The other thing we're going to do is play a wedge that has enough bounce. This one is 12 degrees of bounce, and the bounce is right in the middle of the sole. I've probably hit the ground about 20, 30 times so far, and there's not a mark on the green where I've actually hit the ground. There's no digging, and anytime you're steep and you're digging, you're going to make the margin of error significantly smaller. So, ball position is going to be right off the left armpit. Wrists are going to be uncocked, so that shaft is almost in line with the left arm. I'm also going to have the face slightly open, so that when I open the face, the leading edge sits just slightly off the ground. 
Again, ensuring that that club's never going to dig. And then really all we want to do from there is to let your arms swing. Your body will pivot, but it'll be kind of reactionary. Is your arms are going to swing kind of like you would a long putt. And the only way you can ever screw this up is by stopping the hands, which makes the club head come way off the ground, which will make the club skip into the ball. What we want, again, is to keep the club head as low to the ground, both back and through, for as long as possible. So as we hit a pitch shot, the face is going to be a touch open, the ball position is going to be forward, and then we're going to keep the club head low to the ground, both back and through. simple. Just face slightly open. Get a wedge that has enough bounce. Ball position is going to be under the armpit. The wrists are going to be uncocked. This allows you to just brush the ground. It also locks out your wrist so you're not going to get a whole lot of hand action. It's basically going to feel like a long putt. This should have the ball coming out higher softer and increase your margin of error so that even if you're less than perfect, you still get good results. Good luck and hope this helps.